Hey there, welcome to the Bear Farmer YouTube channel. Today, I'm just going to give you an update on what is going on here in the garage garden. We have some exciting new things that I wanna share with you and a lot of new growth that's happening here. So let's go ahead and dig in. For our indoor soil garden bed, as you can see, about a weekend, we have some seedlings that are popping up. Up here, I finally got the hydroponic uh, propagation area started, and some of these were almost dead, and they've come back to life. I've got some peppers and tomatoes growing in here right now, just getting ready to get big enough to go into their permanent hydroponic homes. Down here, I finally managed to get some spinach to finally germinate and propagate because I got the temperature down there low enough now to where it's finally started doing that. And we're going to hopefully get a good spinach crop out of those couple of spinach plants once they get big enough for me to transplant out of there. Over here, I just have a variety of different things. This guy right here is going to be a strawberry plant that I've got in about a three gallon bucket there. And the one next to it will be eventually used for a cutting or something that I can go ahead and root in that. It's just a kind of a recycle and reuse type deal. This is some sort of bean. I'm not sure what it was. It was a volunteer, some type of a pole bean. But as you can see, got a pretty decent sized bean on that thing already. So that's kind of exciting. There's the Brussels sprouts back there. Look like they're doing a lot healthier in the new potting mix there. And I've gone ahead and planted my elderberry bush which is a black lace elderberry bush. Good for antioxidants and things of that nature. And I've got it gone ahead and transplanted into some new soil as well. And it has revived itself rather well and it's coming back with some good foliage. The succulent here, aloe vera plant, is starting to get really fat in the new potting mix. And back there, our onions are just carrying on and getting some nice long stalks on them. So they're looking really healthy as well. Went ahead and moved the Brussels sprouts and as you can see here they've got a little bit of leaf burn going on on the side and that honestly is due to the fact that I didn't change the water out fast enough and it got too much of the salt toxicity in there so they are actually getting a little bit of salt burn right now but as you can see these new leaves coming out are looking quite healthy I got the water changed fast enough to where it didn't do any permanent lasting damage to the plant and hopefully those guys are gonna do well I might have to actually transplant them into a little bit bigger container, something like this, the three gallon bucket, so that they can actually grow out into it on their own and the roots can actually have more room to hopefully make the water last long enough to where it's not going to be quite as salt toxic to them. And our sugar snap peas here appear to be doing fairly well. Looks like one of the stalks here might have gotten pinched off and died, but the rest of the new growth is actually looking really healthy. So we should hopefully start getting some sugar snap peas on those fairly quickly for one of the new features i actually got me an led grow light this is a chill led single grow light it is fantastic this thing puts out a ton of power very very bright has the full spectrum light and is fully dimmable has the meanwhile driver back there that you can see and so far, I'm just slowly inching up the full light because I kind of dimmed it for the first few days so that it didn't shock the plants. And some of the spotting and death might, <laughs> might have a little bit to do with that, but I'm slowly creeping it up to full power so that we can have some good light for these plants to grow out in. Our bananas are looking green and luscious. They have got a lot of new growth on them recently. I haven't transplanted either one of these yet, but soon enough, I have a pot right underneath here that I'm going to be transplanting one of these into to hopefully get us a new growth system. But more to come on that later. Right now, I am doing an avocado cutting. Hopefully, this will take root. And uh, I'm trying to go ahead and root that. I put it in some rooting solution and I've got it in just a 50-50 mixture of peat moss and perlite right now with some rooting solution and damp water in there. So that way, hopefully we can get that guy to go ahead and root and we can get another avocado tree going off of our current avocado tree, which I have cut back immensely because it is still not growing, not doing anything actually. And I can't figure it out. Um, I might actually come back and cut it right here 
and try to plant it again in some different uh some different soil i'm not sure what's going on with this guy but it just does not want to put out any new growth whatsoever it hit a point and just completely stopped growing and i'm afraid the root rot might have set in a little bit too heavy and we may not actually be able to save it it may just be done um it's still enough alive that i think i could probably get a cutting off of it but we'll just have to wait and see but that is something that i will show you guys if you're interested if you are interested in seeing that how that's done leave a comment down below and i will go ahead and do a video on how i accomplish that so moving on we have explosive growth here on our potato plants they are doing really well i'm doing an experiment which you will be able to see a video a little bit later on all of these have a little bit different type of soil that I'm growing the potatoes in, and we want to see what the best results are. Some of these potato plants are a little bit leggy, and that was due to the light being too far away from them when they were first growing. But they seem to be doing a lot better now, um, and we'll just have to go ahead and see how this turns out. And of course, our mighty kale plant is still plugging along, and we're actually going to make a soup out of that kale plant tonight. Um at least a good portion of it anyways as it started to wilt as it's getting a little bit along in its life but it has grown mighty and done a very good job so that's what i've got for you this week guys let me know what you think in the comments below anything new that you would like to see i'm actually going to be starting a new type of spinach which i'll be doing a planting guide on and a full grow guide eventually this week and I've got a couple of new hydroponic projects that i'm also working on this week that i hope to be able to record as well again it's been great hanging out with you guys. Thanks for following the channel. If you do, appreciate the support. Please hit that like button if you like the content. And please share this video around if you can. It really helps the channel out. Until next time, see you later and God bless. <laughs>